Thank you, Leigh. Um, well, you asked for a quick overview, and I'm, I'm going to talk far too long because um, uh, I've been in education as, a, as an educator, not, not as a student, for over 49 years. And I don't think I've ever had a year such as this one, which we've been more fulfilling in what we've been able to accomplish. Um, we've come a long way. I want to thank everybody in the ministry for being patient with me and for working so hard uh, toward our common goal. And I feel very confident now that we have a very strong team uh, from, from everybody involved in the ministry, uh, teachers, uh, um, the staff, uh, myself, and uh, the members of the uh, central office. And we all are working towards trying to improve in the education of our children. In doing so, we had to do a lot of, lot of changes. There were a lot of changes, as, as you know. The calendar change, um, it to be a revised calendar with the intercessions. The intercessions are coming to be uh, an incredibly important part of the educational program that we are now having um, um, wonderful educational opportunities for our, for our kids. Uh, right now, at, at this moment, we have uh, 12 students who are uh, learning to uh, scuba dive as a part of our tourism and hospitality um, at academy at the high school. That is now um, undergoing a major revision to where we'll be doing some um, understanding, memorandum of understanding and uh, uh, partnerships uh, with the PVA and with um, the super ministry to bring more of these type of activities uh, into that. So when our students uh, graduate, they are ready to enter the workforce uh, as um, members of the tourism industry. And that's an exciting new project that we're starting. So in every intercession now, we're going to be running students through different levels of diving instruction. And we've been in contact with uh, all of the dive uh, shops to partner with them so we can give as many students as possible this opportunity. Um, the other is um, one which we won't see the results of for a few years, and that's the establishment of kindergarten. Uh, we have now have over 100 students in our kindergarten. And I think we'll see as the years go by and as those students progress through the school, you're going to see a real change in our students' abilities and our, uh, their, their achievements. The others are the ones which we uh, implemented, uh, which are the Accelerated Reader Program, the Be Able Program. Um, those are fully functional. Uh, we're very grateful to PNCC for uh, getting our internet capabilities up to where they need to be so that all of our schools are now fully able to interact all of the online services offered by those programs. We're not finished with it yet uh, because we now are going to be entering the phase two of that to where right now we're, we're working with having the students reading, just reading, reading, reading. Uh, in the elementary grade, we have over, students have read over 2,000 books in the first semester of the school year, as opposed to probably zero the year before. That's a huge increase and it's a huge improvement. And as we now are able to, we'll be going through a lot of in-service in the month of January to where the teachers are going to be shown uh, how the, um, the um, computer uh, artificial intelligence is able to help them address individual student needs as they uh, read their diagnosis without having to do a lot of work on their own. It'll be given to them. <clears throat> so that's a real, a real plus and we're very, I'm very excited about that. Um, we also did implement our school-wide information system, which uh, as I'm sure you remember caused a little bit of upheaval, but um, uh, the, uh, all the grades are working very nicely now. Uh, in fact, if you're a parent, you should have already have received your child's uh, second quarter report card. And all of that is done electronically. Uh, so it's kept, our records are now kept uh, so that they're uh, accessible. And we look forward to, as we implement this a little bit more fully, into opening up our care parent portal to where the parents will be able, able to directly ac assess their uh, children's grades uh, at any time they want. So that's another big plus which we're working on. Uh, the others are um, 
I really want to point out that um, our, uh, as you all know, our schools are not the prettiest buildings in the world, and they are not the newest buildings in the world. Uh, but I want to really commend um, Director Maol for doing an incredible project uh, over this past year of improving those schools. Uh, as you know, we have a, uh, had a, a cafeteria condemned in Munes. That cafeteria is now in the process of being rebuilt all of being done with funding through Japan. Uh, and it's a, it's, it opened up the entire campus to an entire new way of looking at it. And adjacent to that right now, we are going to also be covering their uh, basketball court and volleyball court so that the kids can use those even in rain. Those are major improvements have been done. And, and all of that is being done with outside funding. We're not using anything of our own uh, budgets on those. Um, Air conditioning is another major issue we had that we've been, uh, our students have been te uh, learning or trying to learn in uh, um, very hot uh, environments. Uh, I was very fortunate and had some principals who actually did some study and found out that the average temperature in our classrooms was ranging between 88 to 90 degrees during the school day. Tough to learn. Tough to learn uh, very, very well. So as of right now, uh, during the Christmas, uh, intercession break, we are uh, going to be installing air conditioning units. We completed Peleliu's, uh cafeteria uh, on Saturday, and we'll be uh, working on uh, three more schools before the end of the intercession, and that'll be uh, Ngart Long, uh, Ngart Mao, and Ngart which will all be having all of their classrooms air conditioned uh, prior to re-entering school uh, in January. That's our goal. And that'll be, a, I think, a real improvement both not only for the teachers, but more importantly for the kids. So they'll be able to be comfortable during their learning environment. Uh, we, we, uh, also, we've been replacing, uh, which aren't really visible, but on roofing in, um, uh, uh, let me see, the, the schools of uh, Munes, um, Karora Elementary School, um, the, the high school, um, uh, um, uh, IRI, and George B. Harris, and those projects are now completed, so we won't have to be having buckets on the floor during the rains. So they'll be, we're stopping the rain out that side where it belongs. And that is just step one. Uh, the next thing we're doing is we're also improving the, uh, the window units, then that'll prepare those rooms that they, they can then be air conditioned. Right now we have schools with louvers from probably my birth date, which is old, uh, and in fact, only go halfway up the windows. And we wondered why they got wet when it rained, and, and it was the rain was coming in because there were no windows there. So we'll be replacing those, and as soon as we get that done, we're going to be able to do air conditioning on that. All of that is being done with local funding, but it was built into our, uh, our budget, which was approved by the OEK. Uh, we have a new cap a new cafeteria going up, uh, solar power uh, projects at the high school and at Corral Elementary School uh, to reduce our power load, and of course the new air, air conditioning units. So those are those are all things which have been done, and I really want to point out that Director Maol has done an incredible job of not only uh, engineering the projects and working with uh, um, the uh, uh, capital improvement project group, but he's been out going out and actually getting the funding brought, brought in through uh, mostly from Japan uh, and Taiwan. We just recently uh, received from the gift of Korea um, uh, computers which are now placed in the high school um, and all of the eighth grade now have new laptops to be able to work on their reading programs. Uh, they're, they're, they're designed especially for uh, internet access. Um, there is so much else going on. Um, the one thing which is really exciting, as I mentioned in the uh, uh, intercession programs, uh, we are going to be engaging with the Nautilus program, which was here last October. Uh, they've invited us to uh, have our students and faculty uh, to apply for fellowships and scholarships to be in that boat. They'll be returning, we believe, in October. So we're going to be developing our curriculum uh, to be integrated with that as we uh, try and take our academies at the high school to be more amenable to getting students prepared for whatever futures they want to hold on. Um, I hope some of you were able to have seen uh, the Mamma Mia uh, project that the high school students put on, wonderful musical. And it really brought home to me how badly we've neglected the fine arts. And so that's another issue that we are going to be trying to be addressing in the future.
Uh, we have wonderful students, talented in music, and in drawing, and in dance, and in all areas of the arts. And they're doing it all on their own, and their rehearsal facilities are something you, you have to see, see to believe. Uh, but they make do with very little, and I want to thank the, the, the kids for displaying their talent, the parents for patience, uh, for the rehearsals, and for the teacher who's working hard to get them uh, to where they want to do. They produced all of the music, all of the dance, and all the songs on their own, as well as all the backdrops. And it was a, it's a wonderful evening, and we're trying to talk them into doing another one in the spring, but we'll, we'll see how that's a lot of work.